Hello everyone, I'm Leslie. I'm the director of the St. Mary's Public Library and I'm going to show you how to use one of my favorite databases for children. It's called BookFlix and it's run by Scholastic. Um, and what they do is they take fiction picture books and turn them into short videos. And this is done by a professional company called Weston Woods. If you've ever seen them before, they're fantastic. And then it takes that video and pairs it with a nonfiction book that either you or your child could read or you could have the computer read it to you. Um, this database works on a regular computer. It works on pretty much every mobile device I've seen as well. Um, it's just, it's a fantastic tool. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is go to the library's webpage, and then we're gonna scroll down and on the right hand side is the link into our main databases and it's called Power Library. So all of our library databases are in there. But since I like BookFlix so much, I gave it its own separate link. So if you have one of our newer cards that start out with PL2878, in a second you'll be entering that barcode number, the full thing, uh, into the database to get access. If you don't have the full one, if you have one of the older cards that only has four or five digits, there is um, a specific code that we need to have, and this will kind of walk you through it. So let's click on BookFlix, and then I'm gonna type in my barcode number, which I already have saved since I use it, and then I'm gonna click on Submit. Now, if you do not have a library card, you can still use all of the databases. What you would wanna do is click up here on get an e-card now. So if you do not have a library card, click on that and enter the information and it'll set you up with a free e-card. Um, if you do have a library card, but you can't find it um, or you don't know the number, if there's some sort of issue, send me an email at library at stmaryslibrary.org and I can email you back what your library card number is. The one reason why I really want you guys using your library card number in this site is because um, we track these statistics for our annual report. So for the state report that we send in, this is a big number that we use too. So we're just gonna click on that. And then there's a, a brief introduction that you guys can watch on your own if you choose to. I'm going to skip it for now. Click on a category or click on the feature to begin. So the one really good thing about this site is it talks to the kids the whole way through. So I'm going to go to family and community. Family and community. And then I'm going to scroll down until I find, don't let the pigeon drive the bus. And then I'm going to click on, oh, that's Spanish. We don't want Spanish. Family and community. Um, the reason how I knew that was Spanish was it has this little ribbon that says ES. I know it's in here. I know the English version is in here too, but we'll just skip that for now. So I'm gonna click on I'm Brave and we're gonna start the story. Hydrant Red. Okay, so as you're watching the video, I have Read Along turned on. You can turn it off if you want to, you don't have to leave it on. Um, but the one thing that I really like about it is it helps kids, especially when they're emerging readers, when they're just learning, it helps show them that the word that they hear, this is the word that is being said. So it's really good for them when they're first learning how to read. 
Now, I'm going to pretend that I read the or watched the whole movie. You can also make it big so it fills your entire screen. I'm not going to do that right now. Um, so I'm going to pretend that we watched the whole book. And then on the left-hand side, I'm going to go over here and click on read the book. So we're going to go to the nonfiction book. And then I'm going to go a couple of pages in. Let's go one more. Again, you can make the book. Let's go back. You can make the book fill the entire screen if you want to. You can turn it on the read along. Fire truck to the rescue. Woo! Woo! Firefighters race along in their fire truck. So you can speed it up, you can make it slower if they're going too fast. Um, any of the words that you see highlighted, if you click on it, it has a definition. And for book flicks, if you click on the ear, that's what this is. Firefighters, people who have the job of putting out fires. It will read you the definition. Um, so after you watch the book and then you read the book, there are a couple of games that you can play. So Read the clue below. Click on the word it matches. Match all the words to uncover a picture. Long, flexible tubes used to carry water. If you're wrong, it'll go... Oops! Try again! And if Spray. If you are right... Oops. Nice work! People who have the job of putting out fires... So then it'll keep going along with that little game. Um, and it's really good Firefighters. To, um, to help with their uh, remembering the story and understanding the stories. Read the sentence below. Is it fact or fiction? Click on a button to give your answer. Fire trucks can talk. So um, it'll ask you a couple of questions that way. And then it'll see. Look at these three pictures. What happened first? Drag that picture to the yellow box. So this will ha help um, the kids learn the sequence of events of a story. Um, if you're really interested in it, you can explore the web, and it'll send you to a bunch of different outside links. Um, these are, um, even though they're maintained by a third party, they do kind of verify to make sure that the links are still working um, and that they are valid sources. And then you can also click on Meet the Creators and see a little bit more about the authors. Um, let me see. And if we click on that, oh, no, I, so if we click on that up there, there used to be another place this was hidden. I'm not sure where it went to. But um, for my teachers, there are other resources and tools you can click on or if you want to go to the lesson plans. It'll give you a lesson plan for both the fiction book and the nonfiction book pairing. So different things you can use with your students in your classroom setting. So I'm going to go back. And then I'm going to go to the home page. Click on a category. Or click on the feature to begin. So as I said before, I, knew th I know that there is an English version of Pigeon Drive the Bus. So we're going to search for it. Nope, I guess maybe they got rid of the... Let's give it a try. Okay, so they've changed the site a little bit since I was on here the last time. There's now a Spanish button that you can click on. So if you do see that ES banner across any of the books, go ahead and click on that. It doesn't mean that the whole thing's in Spanish. Let's go to here. I thought he'd never. Then we'll change it to Spanish. So that was English, and you can't change it. Tendré no! cuidado. Okay, so that is book flicks. Click um, on a category or click on the feature to begin. So there is um, 
the last time I checked, there was a little over 100 different book pairings that you could use. And that was probably over a year ago. And I know that they're constantly adding them to or adding to them. So I hope you enjoyed my little show of book flicks. If you liked that, and um, this is mainly for like your preschooler through third grader. So if you have an older child who likes the format, but has kind of grown out of the stories, down here at the bottom, let's click on Power Kids. Now, since we already logged into the database once, it's going to leave us logged in. So if you liked BookFlix, there is something called TrueFlix for the older kids. This is for like fourth grade through like seventh or eighth. And what this is, is it's, it's all true. It takes um, a topic and turns, there's like um, a very short video, usually under three minutes, and then the nonfiction book. So let's go with biographies. And we'll click on, let's do Steve Jobs. So real short video, and as you can tell, it's set up pretty similar to the So yeah, so this one is under a minute. Great way to introduce a new person or a new topic. Um, and then this is the nonfiction book. This one will read to the students as well. So read to me. Play. Early days. On February 24th, 1955, a young mother named Joanne Scheibel welcomed her first child into the world. So that is what that is like. And then there's um, an index to it. Usually. I'm going to close out of it and close the big page. And then um, you can explore more. There's project ideas, activity centers, a word match, explore the web. And then you can go back to the biographies. So if we explore more, it should give a list of resources that you can go to. Project ideas. Um, different, some of them have more than this more than one and let's go back so that is true flick true flicks and book flicks um, there's a lot of different subject areas that you can use i've never seen the information literacy one before i'll have to check into that so anyways this video is a little longer than i thought it was going to be but i hope you enjoyed um the databases